Evolution Lesson 3.4 Phylogeny. So now that we've talked a lot about what evolution is, natural selection and adaption, there is a sort of way that we can sort of document it and um, learn from it and go all the way back years in history and sort of see it in one sort of chart. And the way we're going to do it is really basic, but obviously scientists and biologists have developed a really complex system for this that could go on in a really massive chart. So first off, starting off, what is phylogeny? So if you remember all the way back to our first biodiversity unit, we classified it, it is the evolutionary history of a group of organisms. So same thing, like I said before, we take sort of note um, in the history of where the organism started um, and how their different branches come off from there. So the way scientists have developed their sort of system on how to make this sort of history of evolution, they use what is called a cladogram, and we're going to make our own today. Now, obviously, I've given you something really simple, minions, and simple categories too, like hair, yellow, goggles, long body. But the categories could be things like, um, do, are, do, are they a vertebrate? Do they have two pairs of limbs? Do they have mammary glands? Do they have a placenta? And then, of course, the animals could be things like shark, bullfrog, kangaroo, worm, stuff like that. But today we're going to take a look at minions with our friends Kevin, Stuart, Kenny, and Bob. So I've listed them out already for you um, in that Kevin has hair, he is yellow, and he has goggles, but he does not have a long body. Stuart, on the other hand, has everything. He has hair, he, ha he is yellow, he has goggles, and he has a long body. Um, and then the last one or sorry, the, Kenny has no hair because obviously he has the fruit thing on his head. He's yellow, he has goggles, but he doesn't have a long body. He's pretty short. Then lastly, we have Bob. Unfortunately for Bob, he doesn't really have any hair. He has fluff. Um, he is not yellow. He only has goggles and he's pretty short too. So I've written sort of that out for you and you can sort of see that there's kind of gaps and some people are missing something some people have something and on the other side that i'm going to show you there's a reason for that and that's sort of what evolution is okay so now we're going to actually make our cladogram so the way that this works is like i said two or three seconds ago we have to sort of make them into their own sort of categories to classify them down further so we can see if we go to the goggles column, Kevin, Stuart, Kenny, and Bob all have goggles. So I'm just going to put a number four there, and that's going to become important later. I did the same with yellow. I see three X's in that column, so I'm going to put a three there. Same thing with hair. I see two, and then this one, the long body, I only see one. Now I'm going to actually make the cladogram. So the way we do that is we draw a long straight line like that. And you can put two little lines on the end like that and write oldest and then recent. Because essentially what we're trying to do is find the most recent sort of version or the most recent ancestor that this sort of line has. Um, and of course, like I said, it would be with more things like a shark and like things like a kangaroo and human, stuff like that. Not necessarily minions. But anyways, after you've drawn this line, the next thing you want to do is start to write out the categories. So we have hair, yellow, goggles, and long body. So this is where those numbers that I wrote on the side come in handy. So we can see that only, or sorry, we can see that all four of these people have goggles. So they're pretty much born with those goggles. That's like the last trait. Everyone has it. Everyone has goggles. That has to be like the baseline sort of thing that they haven't evolved from yet. So like they all have goggles. No if and or buts about it. They all have goggles. So that's why we're going to put goggles closest to the oldest side. Then we just start moving up our three, two, and one. So for three, we have yellow, and then we have two, which is the hair, and then we have the one, which is the long 
body. And now it's just simple from there. You're just writing the names of the animal, or in our case, the minion, where they sort of fall on this chart. So I always say, just pick one and start. So we have, let's start with Bob. So we have Bob, and Bob only has goggles. So we're just gonna put him well, we're not going to put him here because he doesn't have yellow. So, and we're not going to put him here because that would imply that he doesn't have goggles, which he does. So we're going to put him right in the middle there. And we're just going to write Bob. We'll do the same thing for the other one. So um, let's move on to Kenny. So Kenny has an X by the yellow and by the goggles. So we can move him past the goggles and past the yellow. We can't move him past the hair and put him here because he doesn't have hair. So we put him here instead. And then we just do the same with um, Kevin. I'm going to jump to Kevin first just for a second just to show you why. Because Kevin only has three X's, which means he's missing one thing as well. Just like Kenny and Bob were. So Kevin has goggles, so we can check off that for him. Um, Kevin is yellow. And Kevin has hair. So Kevin has evolved all the way to hair. So we're going to put him here. We're not going to move him past the long body line because he does not have a long body. And our last one, or our most recent evolved one, is going to be Stuart. And we're going to write him right there. And that is it. That is how you make a cladogram. Now, when you get more um, into this, and you might not even, this might be the simplest one that you could do. There might be areas where you're branching off of actual names to sort of make new ones, new cladograms on the side like that, where this one is pretty simple, where everyone's just had something and some didn't, where others ones there could be a sort of mix and match. So you're just gonna have to keep branching off in between. But the main key point is, is that you sort of write them only where they have the traits and then the oldest to the recent traits and that's basically it thanks for listening